Hey there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I'm here at Hungryland with Mikey and Jamie. Hello. Hello. Humans. How are you? I'm good. I have a little bit of a cold again. No. I know, that's like a through line. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know what it is. I think it must be allergies. This has been a windy winter for us, so I think you're getting the brunt of all that wind and the bad stuff in the air that is caused by wind. Maybe. I just, usually I can go like five years without getting sick, but I have a cold, so hopefully my raspy voice is making people happy. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm happy because we're back with another podcast episode, and if you don't subscribe to this podcast, you should be ashamed of yourself. Aww. Oh, no, actually, don't feel bad about yourself. Feel good about clicking subscribe and then telling all your friends to subscribe mm-hmm. so you never miss an episode. Like this great episode that we are jumping into this week, this is our Target Haul February edition. Yay, I'm so excited. It's a biggie. It is. We get to eat a lot, Mm -hmm. which is great because I am intermittent fasting. I don't know how many times I talk about that, but this is like my big break the fast kind of situation, but I'm going to try not to go overboard. But there are so many good things. I I can't even begin. Whenever we have a haul, you you know, uh, remember Price is Right, where they look at this studio filled with fabulous prizes. I think that for us, look at that table filled with fabulous (laughs) foods. It's true, but this is like this is the main showcase showdown prize. This right? is, this is, yeah. It's not the clunker Mm-mm. or whatever. Maybe that was let's Clinko? make a deal. Was that Clinko the game you're talking about? I was oh. talking about. You're talking about. Uh, I know you're having. Let's make a deal. About the actual what, like the prize where it's like you could win this amazing living room and an Amana radar range, or this cow. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Yeah, and there right. was like Bessie with a bell around her neck. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, do you no, think this they is, really got the cow? No, because I'll tell you why. Because they have to pay tax on the cow. Yeah. You don't whatever you win, you pay tax on. Mm-hmm. So no one's going to actually take the cow and pay tax on the cow. Yeah, that's Unless true. The, yeah, the people cow. turn stuff down all the time yeah. because of the tax. They Fun do. fact: My uncle won a BMW on Wheel of Fortune years ago. Really? Mm-hmm. Did he turn it down? No, no. He he. I think he still has it. Remember in Tennessee? Oh, it was a Porsche. Yeah. Yeah, he won a Porsche. A on Porsche Wheel BMW. Of, yeah, no, just a Porsche. A Porsche. <laughs> Porsche uh, BMW. Uh, I think it was a 928 or something like that. Yeah. And he paid the car. tax on he it. Did. Yeah. Good for him. Mm. We've had people, look, we had people win Hungry Girl prizes and not take them because they had to pay the tax. What? We did. That is not true. Really? Yes, it sure is. Wow. I think it was like early on. It was like someone won a trip somewhere. but they Oh, like the win a trip to Hungry Land, that kind of a thing. Like yeah. That. Uh, yeah. I wasn't insulted. Because I think it's over $500 is when you have to pay the tax. I yeah. Think. yeah. I just We just invited friends over and had a, a cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. Anyway, before we jump into our haul, what do we got, Mike? Breaking shoes. All right, don't look now, but St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, and McDonald's is also celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Shamrock Shake. So they're coming out with a new one. It's the Oreo Shamrock Shake, or they're calling it the Oreo Shamrock McFlurry. Uh, it actually debuts today, February 19th, at all locations nationwide, which is a big deal. I guess Shamrock Shake wasn't at all locations um, b- before this year. They were only in select locations, which is weird to me. Um, so I'm going to ask the question, are we going to put Oreo in our Hungry Girl Clean and Hungry... Uh, Shamrock shake or clean and green shamrock shake? Well, I, we, there are no clean ingredient Oreos. However, yeah. our original shamrock shake, first of all, I think this is a good idea. I think it's a great way to build more excitement around the shamrock shake. Not that it needs more excitement. I don't know how many calories it's going to add. Um, but we could add like a chocolate graham cracker situation mm-hmm. or some kind of natural Ooh. chocolate cookie. I love this idea. I think we should do it. Let's do it. I, Mike, I'm I, so proud of you. Thank you. Good boy. He even has in his notes, maybe we could use Oreo thins. <laughs> so can I just tell you, as a child, I, my earliest Shamrock Shake memory was my mom like let me get out of the car by myself to go into McDonald's to order my lunch. I was probably eight or nine back then. That was okay. And I asked the man behind the counter who was like Jamaican or something. He was like this cool guy. And I'm like, can you please tell me what flavor the Shamrock Shake is? Because I was very intrigued by it. Mm -hmm. And these were his exact words. He said, well, it's kind of like vanilla, only a different flavor. (laughs) It's minty like scope. (laughs) <laughs> and wow. from that time on, I was like, I will never try the shamrock shake. I was wow. afraid of the shamrock shake because I loved vanilla. He had me at vanilla. Then he said minty, which, you know, I never liked. But this, scope? This might be the origins of your hatred for <laughs> mint chocolate thingies. <laughs> or mint anything. I yeah. mean, I, I don't know. I, maybe because I was thinking it's the same thing I say today. Anything mint flavored, like it tastes like toothpaste. 
And, Why waste calories on it? And so from that day on, you've associated mint with scope. Which, Maybe. which, when you were a kid, you you never wanted to, you know, swish your your mouth with scope or listerine or anything like that. Your, your parents made you do it, and you never wanted to do it. So that, yeah, that's it. Could and be. This has been a psychology session with Dr. Mikey. Wow. <laughs> that being said, we will be trying this. We will be putting <laughs> chocolate cookies in our shake, which now mm-hmm. I like. So I like the shamrock shake, our version. Yeah. And we're gonna make it even better. Wait, can I share a fun fact? Yes. On your wall right now. There is a picture, not a bug. There is a picture of us all drinking the very first Hungry Girl Shamrock Shake that we developed. And it's in this giant, for some reason, we put it in this huge, huge glass. We put like a whole blender full in this giant glass and we all have straws and we're crowded around it. Do you see it? I know the photo. Oh, I see. I know the we burger. Should, we Mikey, should post will you it. take a picture of that and yeah. post it? We'll post it. I'm not in the picture. <laughs> it was like 10 years ago. We'll superimpose you. Okay. You were in the picture, but you're not in the picture. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to jump in and I'm sorry I'm going to go out of order. Don't be mad at me because we're starting with a product that I have been dying to try since... The Super Bowl, so it's been a while, mm. and it's the pretzel pop tarts. What? They're pr- they're pop- when I saw this commercial first, I was like, my eyes lit up. I was excited, and then I was angry because I'm like, how did we not know they existed? Mm. Why did no one send them to us? How come we didn't hear about them? So we do want to try them. I want to preface this by saying, pop tarts not an everyday food. I do live by the eighty twenty rule. Pop tarts fall in the ninety nine point nine 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 versus mm-hmm. whatever because I never have a pop tart but I love pretzels and I really want to try these. So they're the one percent of splurges. The point oh 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 one percent. So of splurges. are we trying both flavors? There are two flavors. Um, there's a chocolate pop tart. They're they're pretzel on the outside and there's oh, chocolate on the wow. inside. Is there's there cinnamon salt? that's cin- probably it's like salty pretzel. We're gonna try them both toasted and raw. So yeah, there's like raw ones. There's raw ones in the little bags. I like them raw. They're I know, like as doughier. a kid, honestly, as a kid, that's how I ate them. So I'm. Um, Which one are you starting with? I'm gonna start with the cinnamon. Hold on, I'm just breaking. This is I'm not being very. I feel like I don't want an end piece because you don't get as much filling. If we're right. not gonna eat the whole thing. All right, that's Mike's piece. Jamie, you take whichever piece you like. So this must Inside. be this the, is the cinnamon. cinnamon. Okay. Okay, remember, and let's oh, talk about the so calorie good. the calorie counts on these. I think they're like regular Pop-Tarts. 195 calories for one, so half of the chew pack. Six and a half to seven grams of fat, eight smart points. My God. That's pretty great. Mm. All right. What, what makes it for me? Amazing. Salty. Mm-hmm. It's the sweet and salty. That was the cinnamon. You love pretzels, right? I lo- they're my weakness. I love them so much that I hate them. <laughs> Seriously. And I know I'm, that cinnamon one is like out of this world. Our Super Bowl party had four different types of pretzels. I wouldn't know. I wasn't Ask, invited. Oh, wait, no, you do know. How do you know, Lisa? Because you texted me. I texted her a picture of the pretzel she, plate. I was jealous. We had zero pretzels. Mm. Mm. I like the cinnamon one better. Me too. That's really good. Yeah. But I'm not a chocolate pretzel person. So wait, Jamie, what are the stats again? 195 calories for one. Six and a half to seven grams of fat, eight smart points. Here's, these are great, but Pop Tarts has a major fail here. That there's not a peanut butter filled peanut one. Peanut butter and pretzel is right. the most most popular pretzel thing. They're well, gonna roll that out. Yeah, it's possible they have it. These are just the two flavors that we found at Target. That's right. This is a Target haul. That's true. Okay, that was good though. I mean, like, yeah. I I was impressed. Did mm-hmm. you want to try it raw? Nah. I know it's going to be no, good. No, it's going to taste I like. know it's yeah. going to be good. I, and we, I mean, got, we, gotta, we have to save our appetites. We sure do. Okay, so now we're moving from pretzel pop-tarts right into what you'd expect. Sea cuisine, smart indulgence, smoked applewood salmon. Smoked applewood salmon. So these are frozen, right? Frozen fillets? Yep. Oh, wow. Look how good these look. They look beautiful. Aren't these some And here? they look that good in, do they? in person. Unwrap them. And, and it comes see. with a smoky maple seasoning Ooh. and then separately a mustard barbecue sauce. And I love that they give separately. us the nutritional information for everything separate. Wow. Oh, wow. So what are the, wait, what are the stats of these? Okay. So one filet has 180 calories, seven grams of fat, 23 grams of protein, an ounce. So the one ounce sauce packet is 50 calories, no fat. And together it's 230 calories, six smart points. But like the smart points thing kind of, you know, it's salmon. So I feel like some What's, of it's zero. On the side of the box, there's a column that just says 50. What's that? No, no, on the, uh, the, and the, where all the stats are? No, 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 the same. 
but just that column. That's the sauce. Oh, sorry. So the calorie. All right, I'm going to pass this around. First you of love of, salmon, don't you? I do. I, I usually, like, cooked salmon is a newer thing for me. I was really into, like, smoked salmon and raw, like, sushi salmon. Lately, I've been eating cooked salmon. This smells a little fishy, I have mm. to say. I mean, it's freezer aisle salmon. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of tough. It is a little tough. It's a little dry. The It's not terrible mm. at all. It's actually pretty good. I'll tell you, I, what throws me a little is the texture. It doesn't taste fishy. It's just a little dry. The sauce is very good. Um... But I don't think this would be in my regular rotation. Yeah. If it was fresh salmon, it would be amazing. Yeah, the sauce on the fr- on fresh mm-hmm. salmon would be better. Okay, Sea Cuisine. Do we eat anything else from Sea Cuisine normally? No, I don't think so. They had some other stuff. Maybe we'll try it on a future haul. Okay. This salmon, I, you know, it's really hard. Salmon has to be cooked perfectly. So how do you get it right when it's a frozen yeah. salmon? product. It's not your fault, Salmon. No, don't mm-hmm. feel bad. Okay, moving on to something we all loved as kids. Uh, lean pockets, hot mm. pockets, whatever pockets. These are lean pockets, chicken, jalapeno, and cheese. This must be a new flavor. Don't bury the lead. One sandwich has 250 calories. But here's the thing, I'm burying the lead because it wasn't in the title. And I was like, why do we have this? It's also covered in pretzel. So it's a pretzel pocket. Oh, wow. This is a Lean Pockets chicken jalapeno and cheese in baked pretzel bread. So if this is good for 250 calories and 7 grams of fat, 11 grams of protein, I might actually eat these. It's the same I'm thing. Excited. I'm like, temp- I want to cut it from the inside so you get everything. Well, you can. It's okay. Yeah. Do your best, Jamie. Just don't cut yourself. Don't. No, don't. There's a piece don't. of chicken popping out. It can't out. be Say like hello. the show Chopped where they bleed into all the food. Here, do, do they? You wa- oh. Yes. I always see people bleeding in the food oh, on wow. Chopped. Mike, you're just it's so upsetting. It's like, why is my salad red? Hold on. Mm. Wow. Mm. I would marry this. Mm-hmm. This is like excellent pretzel bread mm-hmm. with slightly spicy Mexican goodness mm-hmm. mm, the cheese the cheese makes it i think it's great wow how big is that it's a nice size it's it's pocket sized because it looks it like, in your pocket i mean like wouldn't you so much rather have this than like a bar mm-hmm. oh yeah that's true 250 calories this feel i mean that's a little high for the bars i eat but mm-hmm. this is great and it has 11 grams of protein mm-hmm. yum i like it i love that did it come in other flavors this was the only one i saw in the pretzel bread hmm Totally worth it. I guess we're moving away from pretzels now. But we're going to move on to tofu Cajun burgers by Hodo. Ooh. So we've tried Hodo before. Hodo? H-O-D-O. Hodo. So Hodo without I think it's Hodo. A. Hodo. Hodo with an O. Like Hoda from the Today Show. Yeah. Right, exactly. Go. Hoda Kotby. This is Hoda, Hodo Tofu. Anyway, it's hard to say. Could be Hoodoo, spelled incorrectly. <laughs> but it's Hodo Cajun burger made of tofu. A four-ounce burger has 210 calories, 9 grams of fat, 19 grams of protein. This is plant-based, ready to eat. So this comes frozen, or is it in the fridge section? Fringe. That's good. Nice. Um, is it's this a nice it? size. It is a nice size. That's really, for 210 calories, that looks, that looks pretty good. It's really? interesting. Like, all these plant-based burgers that are out now... You got to watch out. Sometimes the stats have been like astronomical. Mm-hmm. I mean, and by astronomical, I mean like close to 300 calories, which is just a little, I think, much. They have a lot. Well, good thing Lolly's not here. Good thing. <laughs> they have a lot of well, products. They do. Oh, so yeah. Well, we I know we've tried things oh, by right. them before and we've liked them. So they have a lot of veggie burgers. Um, spicy noodles. Oh, do they make those noodles? They do. We love their noodles. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Mm-hmm. So, to me, this just tastes like formed tofu Yep, mm-hmm. that has spices in it. But it's not terrible. No, it's not. I like tofu. No. Yeah. If you don't like tofu, I don't think you're going to like this burger very much. I think because it's a thinner than, a, you know, when you get tofu, they're usually those big chunks, so it's a little thinner than the, those big chunks of tofu. Mm-hmm. So, it's... if. It's a little bit more, because I'm not a big fan of those big chunks of tofu, mm-hmm. so I enjoyed it more than mm-hmm. like, my average tofu. Yeah, because it's got bite. a good sear on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does, and it has nice flavor, and if you like tofu, 
you could really dress that up like the way you dress up a falafel kind mm-hmm. of thing. Mm. And I think it tastes good. And I would spices, eat it with ketchup over shredded lettuce. I can taste the spices still forming in my mouth. <laughs> and it, like I would like it with like a creamy mustard or a mayo kind of situation mm. or like a tahini. Oh, like Dijonese de- maybe? Yeah, that would be great. Yum. Yum. I mean, all that protein is really impressive. A lot of even <clears throat> protein burgers don't have that much. So mm. That's true. 19 grams of protein. For 210 calories, not bad. That would be good. Good option if you're a vegan or a vegetarian and trying to get protein. Mm. Next up, we have Frontera, which I love. That's Rick Bayless's line from his restaurants. Red chili enchilada sauce. And what we liked about this sauce is that a quarter cup has only 15 calories. Wow. So we were like, hey, if this tastes good, there's a lot of opportunity to do things to it and with it. Mm-hmm. Plus, I feel like everything he makes, everything from that Frontera line is amazing. Yeah. So good. I want to sniff it. Is that rude? From what I recall, the last two... To uh, us or to the Frontera <laughs> sauce? <laughs> the last two Frontera products we tried, they were really fresh tasting. Yeah, their frozen meals are so great. Hold on, I'll pull that. I'm going to pull this in half. You want to yeah. pull... Here, you want to take half of this? We're dipping chicken pieces in it. This is like a wishbone. We're it really is. The... Did you make a wish? Hold on, I made no wish. I wish that the sauce tasted as good as it looks. Hold on. That's not really a wish. I'm going to try it. Gourmet Mexican sauce with roasted tomato and garlic. Hmm. I like it. I don't, like, I'm not, like, in love with it. I'm surprised it's not, it's kind of flat. Mm-hmm. It just, it tastes like enchilada sauce. Like, it doesn't taste like there's a lot of opportunity to do a lot with it. Yeah. It's a little I, sour. I think if we had it with the whole enchilada, thank you, <laughs> um, it would be better. I think so, and it's a little heavy on the citrus. Yeah. It's sour. So um, it's gourmet, roasted tomato and garlic, but there's more of these pouched sauces that he makes, so I think we should try another one. We will. We're not giving up on you, Rick. Mm-mm. Next up, we have huh, another sauce. Oh, I can't wait for this, this one. This is exciting because I do spend a lot of time in Memphis because that's where my husband's from. Heinz, Memphis-style sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. So we like this because we use barbecue sauce all the time and the calorie counts on this one, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Two tablespoons, 50 calories. So that's pretty great. No fat um, and 12 grams of sugar, but we all know barbecue sauce is sugary. Mm -hmm. I like that it comes in like a ketchup bottle as opposed to like a big spouted bottle where you overpour. Mm -hmm. What are we going to try this on? Chicken, More chicken slices. Oh, look, hello, chicken. We haven't seen you in a minute. (sighs) Thank you. Thank you while Jamie's plating us. All right. I'm You've been to choice. Memphis, Kansas City, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure, and, and, and Nashville. Mm-hmm. Which barbecue is the best? And all over Texas. Oh, yeah, Texas too. My favorite barbecue is Kansas City. Oh. Don't tell my husband. Incredible. This sauce is so good. Mm. Mm. That sauce is incredible. That's like my favorite barbecue sauce. It's so thick for a 50 calorie sauce. Like, so usually they're anywhere between 45 and 60, but most of them are 60. And I feel like the lower calorie ones sometimes are thinner. That's so good. So good. That was great. Yeah. Mm. We're buying that for our barbecues this summer for sure. Yeah, that's going to be in my life. Mm -hmm. Go Heinz. I mean, how do you have anything bad from Heinz? Yeah. They're the ketchup people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving on, we have. Another sort of Mexican item. This is a cool thing. When I saw this, I was like, holy cow, we have to try these. Um, They're old El Paso soft tortilla bowls that are flavored like cheese. So it's a soft tortilla bowl. So it looks like, imagine it's like four and a half inches by maybe three inches. And it's shaped like a bowl so you can build and make anything out of it. Or you, And it's like a tortilla, a soft tortilla. So feel it. Should we try the tortilla alone first? It's just like a tortilla formed into a bowl shape. It is. Or a boat. It's kind of like a it canoe. Is. It's just like that. It's like, or a bathtub. It mm-hmm. looks like a bathtub. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's good that wouldn't sound as good. Soft tortilla bathtub. It's a tortilla bathtub. That's really good. Mm, Can we it's... talk about the stats? Yeah, um, yeah, definitely, because they're impressive. Mm. Should I take a full boat? <laughs> Won't you and, we were you and split Jamie? Because okay. we, we have them here with ground crumbles and shredded lettuce and um, pico de gallo. Cool. So you get... Mm. Two tortillas, two of these boats for 140 calories, four grams of fat, three grams of protein, five smart points. But that is for two of them. So they are 70 calories each. That's crazy. So, and then you pick it up, it almost feels like a taco. Yeah. So I'm just I'm going to bite into it. Yeah, you don't for mind, it. then I'll give it to him. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love it. The tortilla alone 
It's a little salty and it doesn't really taste like cheese, Mm-mm. but it's a vehicle. Mm-mm-mm. And they make what? You want this back, Mike? Yeah, one of the bite. Um, <laughs> is that okay? Yeah. They have a flour style that I think is not cheese flavored, which weirdly had more calories, but mm. I don't that really taste weird. the cheese, but it's delicious. It's a little salty. It's uh, not bad. Is this some um, plant based beef inside? It is. Yeah, it's good. I think Can those I? are boca crumbles. Jamie, you want another bite? Mm, maybe later. I'll eat mine okay, later. That's not bad. I, <laughs> I mean, I like it. I like anything that's a vehicle. These days, whether it's a lettuce cup or you know anything that's creative that's not high in calories, mm. that is a good vehicle. I enjoy so that's pretty good. What do we have next? We have oh another tortilla. Oh, tortillas are so popular. More vehicles. Yes, <laughs> this one also has seventy calories. It's a Mission Protein Plant Powered Tortillas. So, Mission Protein Plant Powered Tortillas, seventy calories, three grams of fat, twelve grams of fiber meaning it has three net carbs, seven grams of protein. This has two smart points. I know I haven't been giving points throughout, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I had to note that. Two smart points. Zero sugar for people that are watching their sugar. And it's pea protein. Mm -hmm. So let's let's try it. I think we have some that have been heated. It's a nice size. Mm -hmm. Nice size vehicle. (laughs) We're just tearing pieces off. We're tearing. Here. I wonder if Toyota will come out with the Toyota tortilla. The Toyota. Because, it, because it's a yeah. vehicle? Because for tor- tortilla. Yeah. Mm. Tortillas are such good vehicles. That's really good. It's a little sweet. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. Mm. Great. Great tortilla. I mean, can you ever have too many 70 calorie high fiber tortillas in your life? No. No. Seven grams of protein. Wow. Wow. And we'll, um, I wonder where they're, they're probably everywhere. Mission is like the yeah. most prominent tortilla yeah. brand, right? Mm. Yeah, for sure. Okay. We're moving on to soup. Yay. Yes. I'm a soup person. Campbell's, well, yes, sipping soups. So, well, yes, that's their, like, better for you line. Mm -hmm. How can you say no to that? (laughs) Well, no, you can't. How do we sip these? We've got ramekins, but normally that's the cool thing. You could sip them right out of the... The ramekins are supposed to be for all the drinks. Oh. What are we going to do? All right, we're going to... I have an idea. We're each going to get one soup ramekin and one drink ramekin. Okay. Okay. Or you could sip it first and then give it to... uh, No, because then... No, because I... You know what? I can just pour a little and then you could sip it. That's true. That's what you should do. All right, what flavor? This is a... Look at us. Working out our problems on the air. (laughs) Roasted red pepper and tomato. Watch the drip. Watch the drip. Mike, lick it. Where? Oh. um. So it's like a little microwavable, um, like the cans that you can put in the microwave. And you can sip it right from mm. the container. Oh, that's like creamy and that's delicious. That's really good. That has, what is it? It's either 130 or 140. Oh, wow. I love this. Mm. 140 calories for the whole thing, which is nice because sometimes soup, it's two servings. Mm-hmm. Five grams of fat, two grams of protein. I guess these have six to seven smart points, which seems like a lot for soup. Maybe because of the sugar? So That'll be sugary. Is that designed for like a lunch on the go? Like if you're in oh, yeah, the car... Two. You need to get to lunch or get, yeah. to, get to work. Or. I'm an email. Yeah. There's a lot of sugar in this, right? Yeah, Tastes that like one it. had 13. But it's it's tomato. Tomatoes right. are high in sugar, I think. Tomato. What about that one? This one is a harvest carrot ginger. This is more low in fat. So mm. um, I love let's try Jamie's going to like this a lot, I can tell. It's good. It is very good. It's sweet, flavorful. It's nicely spiced. I wish these weren't so sweet. That's my only thing. Yeah, there's no reason for them to be as sweet as they are, right? Let's see if they have sugar in them. That one does, unless it's just really sweet carrots. What do you think? No, they've got sugar. Wah, wah. Anyway. It's still delicious. still delicious, I would say. And I'm a soup person, so I like them. All right, moving from soup to salsa, this is Simply Balanced. That's the Target brand, right? Yep. Organic pineapple tangerine Ooh. salsa. Jamie found this, and she was like, tangerine salsa. That's and I was good. like, wow, tangerine salsa. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to, it's hard to dip baby carrots in salsa. I'm going to try it alone. Two tables. yourself, we can't try it. <laughs> Go out of the room. No, two tablespoons, 15 calories, zero grams of fat. Did you get a mandarin in there? I don't know what I got. Right, I got tangerine. I definitely Oh, I think taste. the ramekins were for other things. Oh. Yeah, don't use the ramekins. Well, no, too late. Um, honestly, mm. you taste the tangerine. It's nice. Mm-hmm. It's nice to have a salsa with a little bit of citrus in it. It's different. Pineapple, tangerine, tropical. That'd be good on fish citrus. tacos. Ooh, mm. I like that definitely. Great. Great on fish tacos. Yeah. And it's made with jalapenos and cayenne, so 
It's a, it's got a little kick, but I really like it. That's that's an impressive thing, and I'm proud of them for being so creative with the mm-hmm. flavors. And I'm thirsty, which means it's good that we're moving on to Hello Water, even though this water is it seems pretty dumb. Sorry, I mean, I'm like, not to be blunt, I'm from New York. However, this is literally, it's called Hello Water, <laughs> fiber-infused water, and it, the, the flavor, like, the bottles say things like laugh and what, dream? Like, what are yeah, the Yeah, but different things? flavors, dance flavor, oh, yeah. laugh flavor. What does that even mean? I don't know, I'm it's so silly. Are we just, gonna... They're having fun with the water. Actually, there's four ramekins we on each, there. Yeah, we each get one ramekin for all of our liquids now. But this is the flavor that's called laugh, and it's lemon. So it's like, laugh, lemon. What so it has five grams of fiber. Where is the fiber from? What what's making it inulin? It's it's added fake fiber. Mm. But whatever. We eat things with infused fiber. Yeah. But it's made with erythritol and it's really fakely sweet and really terrible. Pledge. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Ugh. My face is all screwed up. I don't know how to unscrew it. Your <laughs> face is screwed up. I wasn't gonna say anything, Jamie. <laughs> so would um, you say it's good by water? Ah. Thank you, thank you very much. It is good by do water. Do we dare try the dance flavor? That did not make me laugh. We do. Wait, Mike's joke didn't make you no, laugh? No, no, the, the drink is called laugh. laugh. The oh, yeah. flavor is oh, laugh. Flavor. Um, it also... Hang on. Yeah, let's try the other one. Let's try it. Lemon, it also has prebiotics in it. No, oh, because lemon, a lot of lemon drinks... Lisa just drank more of it <laughs> and then made a to, face. I had to because I wanted to clear my... I took one for the team. <laughs> a it's lot, horrible. A lot of the lemon drinks... Do you have that pine salt taste or Mr. Yeah, Clean? Yeah, Mr. Clean. Um, this is what flavor is dance? This is orange. This is much better. Orange mango. Oh, way better. Much better. That's not awful. I would not elect to drink it, but if someone forced me to drink it, I would be okay. Mm-hmm. What circumstance would you find yourself in that someone forced you to drink that? I hope never and none, but it could happen. I live a weird life. That is just what really throws me about that is the fake sweetener. Mm-hmm. It would be better if it was just a hint of flavor and no sweetener, mm-hmm. and add the fiber all day long. But I don't. I think it's good by water, um, Mike. As you say, good by water. Thank you. All right, I'm still thirsty, so I'm glad we have V8 plus. Is it called V8 plus? V8 plus hydrate. Mm-hmm. V8 plus hydrate in coconut watermelon flavor. That sounds so good. That sounds great. It's a plant-based hydrating beverage. It has a full serving of veggies. Wow. Wow, and only 45 calories for a can. Remember when you were a kid and all they had was the the vegetable version of V8 and it was so gross and now they don't. I love it. You like it, right? They say you drink it on planes. Well, no, when you were a kid. Not when you're an adult. I drink Bloody Mary mix. They're great now, but when you were a kid, it was like that. Yeah, you're probably right. And this has uh, a serving of veggies from sweet potato. Hmm. Hmm. I liked it. I feel like it's one of those ones that you like. The, m- the more you drink it, the more you like it. I like it because it's not overly sweet. It's like mm-hmm. mild. Mm-hmm. I think you're right, though. The more you drink it, the more it'll grow on you. Mm-hmm. It's and good. It's like a coconut water with a little bit of watermelon. Yeah. And it says it has 10 grams of sugar, but zero added sugar. So it's all from the fruit. Oh, that's great. And natural electrolytes. Mm-hmm. Better than fake unnatural electrolytes. All right, moving on. This is a product that I'm excited to try. I was confused by it. I have not seen it in person. I only saw the wrapper. Larissa's Kitchen. We know Larissa because she makes jerky that we like. She's now making jerky bars. They're protein bars. They have 10 grams of protein, and they look like they're going to be like a meat bar, but we don't know. I'm going to let Jamie cut this. Because they're a little high on the calorie side. They feel like they might just be more like the texture of an RX bar, but they're meat Based. You want some deets? Yes. So the pineapple teriyaki one, it's a homemade medley bar is what they call it. Homemade. Um, almonds, sunflower seeds, dried pineapple, dried egg whites, almond butter, and sesame seeds with finely chopped chicken breast jerky. Hmm. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. And what's the other flavor? Blueberry fusion? Yes. Blueberry fusion with almonds, egg whites, Chicken breast jerky, almond butter, sunflower seeds, dried blueberries. That's it's, this is interesting. Sounds good, and they're chicken based, mm-hmm. which is a good thing. And we need a sharp knife to cut them, and I'm oh, sure we'll be able to do that. But 200 calories each, so it has to be. I don't know. I would have to be really satisfying. I'm having trouble over here. It's okay. They're child protected. <laughs> they're child proof. By the way, these. This is our last item of the day. 
Oh, wow. I can't believe it's happening, but it's true. It's happening. Oh, so it looks, you know what? It looks more like a traditional bar. Mm -hmm. Like a kind bar almost because of the nuts. Well, but a kind bar is 90% nuts. Yeah, that's true. So this is more like a... Um, I think it's going to break the knife. I don't... So... Hold on, I'm going to grab a piece. Is there meat in there or no? Yeah, it, chicken jerky. Yeah, so it looks like a traditional protein bar. I like it, no? I feel like the use of chicken is gratuitous. Mm. It's like they took a protein bar and they they stuck chicken in it. It's very sweet. I didn't expect that. Mm, it's pineapple. Mm. That's what it is. It's, it tastes good. But I don't know if I'm on board with the whole concept. Mm. It tastes good. Yeah. It tastes good, though. Yeah. Can we try the other flavor? Yeah. It's so weird. It's like a protein bar with nuts. But you would never, like if somebody gave me that, I would never in a million years mm -hmm. know there was meat in it. Yeah. So why? But I mean, sometimes jerky to me, no, I'm going to get roasted for saying this. It almost has, it almost tastes like candy. Like it's so sweet. But it tastes like meat. This doesn't taste, the texture doesn't taste like meat. The flavor doesn't taste like meat. If somebody said name 50 ingredients that are in this, chicken wouldn't be one of them. Mm -hmm. What number ingredient is chicken? Oh. When Jamie's done cutting, she'll <laughs> tell us. I thought you were going to say, how many ingredients would you have to name before you landed on chicken? All right. I would it have said 240. Third, it's the third ingredient. Hmm. So maybe their, their idea here is to get animal protein in a bar instead of vegetable protein. Mm -hmm. and Because... You know, some people prefer that. I yeah. like it. It tastes really good. It's just gratuitous use of chicken. Like, why put the chicken in here? For the protein. But you can get protein otherwise. And it's not that much protein. Mm. 10 grams. So how much chicken can it be? I don't know, but I um, think it's delicious. Yeah, I like it. I would take that on a plane as a meal. 200 calories. It's okay. good. Yeah. I think it's good. It's different. I give it an A for effort. Yeah. Okay. Which I've always under never understood that that saying A for effort. Shouldn't it be an E for effort? No. <laughs> because you're being graded on the normal scale. Yeah. From like A, B, C, D, F. I guess for so. For your effort. <laughs> so should it be A for effort? But to get an A for, I mean, that's a lot to get an A. Maybe like a B plus for effort. For that, I think it's, I think it's A worthy. Okay. Well, but I mean, in general, because people work really hard to get an A, right? <laughs> like... And so you're saying effort alone shouldn't, shouldn't even be, be worthy graded. of an A. Yeah. Wow. He's harsh. Uh, wow. No. Because if you're going to do something that hard and still fail, it shouldn't count as much. That's what Mike is essentially saying. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you weren't my teacher. Mm. Well, that's what I'm saying. And so instead of an A, maybe like a B or C plus. It doesn't sound as good. <laughs> that's a C plus for effort. <laughs> that, that would make me cry. All right. Fine. All right. You want, me to, you want me to rate these? Of course. You ready? I'm ready. First up, we tried the Pop-Tarts pretzel. The pretzel Pop-Tarts. Part of me wants to give them a 10, but I can't do that. So I'm going to give them an E for effort. <laughs> no, I'm going to give them an eight and a half. They, they tasted really good. I probably yeah. will never taste one again until the day I die, but they're really good. When and if you want to treat yourself, maybe try them. You'll have one when they come out with the peanut butter one. For you, I'll do that. Okay, That'll be a 10. I guarantee it. Next up, Sea Cuisine Smart Indulgence Smoked Applewood Salmon. I have to give that a six. I wanted to give it something higher, but I, I don't think if people went out and bought that, that they would really like it. Skip mm. it. I agree. Lean Pockets Chicken Jalapeno and Cheese in the Baked Pretzel Bread. I have to say it was so delicious. I, don't, I really don't want to say like Lean Pockets should be in your life at all times, but these are really good and worth trying, so I'm going to give them an eight. Is that terrible of me? No, yeah. they should be in your life some of the time. And in your freezer, possibly most of the time. All right, how about the Hodo Tofu Cajun Burger? Emphasis on the tofu. I feel like uh, I, you know what? I'm going to give it a little higher mark than I wanted to originally. And I'll tell you why after. So I'm giving it an eight. And it's because I'm tired of all these wannabe burgers that are coming out that are exactly the same. And there's not enough variety. Mm -hmm. So you're giving it an eight I'm for giving effort. it an eight. <laughs> and, a, and an eight for effort. There you go. <laughs> How did you feel about the Frontera red chili enchilada sauce? I felt it should have been better. Agreed. Yeah. So I'm giving that a six. Well, I feel like you got it. a grade on a curve. He's usually so, the Frontera stuff is usually so impressive. Yeah, this is six. Okay, Heinz Memphis style sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. That's a 10. Wow. That is like a 10 barbecue sauce. I am like picky with barbecue sauce. Texture, taste. The packaging, mm -hmm. the fact that it isn't like a catch, a squeezable bottle. Mm -hmm. So good. Ten. By the way, there are two other flavors, but those had 60 calories. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
All right, old El Paso soft tortilla uh, bathtubs and cheese. <laughs> Well, as far as bathtub, bathtubs go, I think those get a seven. Like, I, want, I, I just can't give them higher than a seven. They're fine. They're mm. good. They're yeah. cute. Mission protein plant-powered tortillas. Those get an eight. I thought those tasted really great, and I mm. love the amount of protein and the amount of fiber is super impressive. 12 mm. grams. Nice. What did you think of Campbell's, well, yes, sipping soups? Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think they're more like a seven. I, I am a big soup person. And I tend to reach for soups that give me more bang for the buck. Those were a little sweet. Mm-hmm. I feel like if I ate, if I drank the whole can of that, I don't know. They're they're good, but mm-hmm. they're not going to be in my life in regular rotation. Mm-hmm. Wah, wah. Simply balanced organic pineapple tangerine salsa. I'm going to give that a nine. Yeah. I feel like there's so many great salsas in our lives, but yeah. there's always room for more. Okay. How did you feel about Hello Water fiber infused? <laughs> Can I give it a zero? Yep. Am I wrong? Am nope. I being too harsh? No. Nope. Okay, good. I feel like maybe the, the orange mango one gets a 0. 0.5. What yeah, a, you're right. But what about for effort? Uh, D. Yeah. <laughs> it's a D for effort. Talk about like doing all the wrong things. Mm-hmm. I, they just did all the wrong things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I picked it up actually because it made me laugh. So I guess it did something, right? There you it go. said laugh well, and I did. The bottle, I was going to say, mm-hmm. the bottle said laugh. Yeah. Jamie mm-hmm. is very obedient. Mm-hmm. V8 plus hydrate in coconut watermelon. You know, I, it's not the kind of thing I would normally try, but I really liked it. I give that probably an eight. No. It was pretty good for good. what it is. Last but not least, Larissa, Larissa's Kitchen Bars with the 10 grams of protein. I am going to give those a 7.5. I know you guys love them a lot, and I, they do taste great, mm-hmm. but they're confusing to me. They're, they're protein bars that have weird yeah. hidden meat. It's like hide the meat. Mm-hmm. But they taste good. You, you did. You, you gave it a good number, mm-hmm. I think. Okay. Yeah. This was a good haul. Good information. <laughs> it was good. It I was feel fun. like it's always helpful. Like when everything's a ten, it's great. But this is good. Now you know what maybe not to pick up too. And also, like the way I think we describe things, a lot of people might be sitting back there saying, "Wow, I would love a bar that tastes like this with hidden meat. Who cares if it feels like chicken?" Mm-hmm. So at least we're giving more descriptive information that'll mm-hmm. help people make decisions. Right? Yeah. They're going to go to Target and say, excuse me, do you have the hidden meat bars? <laughs> They'll be like, we do, but good luck finding them. <laughs> They're hidden. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, so thank you guys for tuning in. If you want more Hungry Girl, and you probably do, you should be signed up for our daily emails. You can do that at hungry-girl.com. You can and should text or call and leave a message for Mike because we are taking questions from humans. Mm-hmm. In fact... Yes, we're always looking for questions <laughs> yes. from humans. So call Mike or Eight, text him. 805-380-8075. Check us out on Instagram, on Facebook. Check out the What's Chewing community. Subscribe to the podcast. Tell your friends you love Hungry Girl. And thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll be back next week. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing. <laughs>